in this video we are playing Find the Inside Out 2. So we absolutely loved the film here in Judgment TV. I loved Inside Out and I loved Inside Out 2. The biggest letdown for this game, it's not a badge game. I would love to have the Inside Out 2 badges. But what I will say is the characters are really nice, they're really sharp and crisp. There's nothing worse than sort of a pixelated blurry image of the characters you're finding. And the map is quite nice. Um, I like the inclusion of the racks with the kind of memories in them. It could be tied in just a little bit more um, to the film just to make it kind of super immersive. Um, it's it's not kind of an identical copy of Inside Out, but I think that they have done a really nice job. I love the background of kind of the memory dump and then long-term memory in the kind of background. That's really, really well done. It's just this doesn't look like the kind of control center as it is in the film, which is a bit of a shame. This, this game, super easy. There's no challenge element really to it at all. Um, so this really would appeal to kind of the younger players of Roblox. If you've got like 10 minutes, just run around and find the characters. Obviously this is a kind of pass the time game uh, for a scavenger enthusiast like myself. But as I said, I really enjoyed the film. So it's nice to go around and collect the characters. Just a shame I don't get a badge for it that I can go back to. <laughs> It doesn't have free sprint either. Again, that's something that you have to pay for. If you do happen to get stuck with any of the characters, not that I think you will, um, I do have an order list available in my video description, or please do drop me a comment. I'm more than happy to help where I can. And if I can ask if you do enjoy this video or any other from Judgment TV, if you can please help to support me by liking this video, drop me a comment and most importantly subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much. So we don't actually see a kitchen area in Inside Out. I'm just wondering if they have something like that, given that they have beds. But one of my favourite characters out of Inside 2 is actually Nostalgia when they keep coming out to try and talk about the past. <laughs> I do find as I am getting older, I do mention things in the past a lot more. <laughs> I do wonder if they are going to continue with the kind of franchise and go a little bit older for Riley. Um, it would be interesting to see sort of how it plays out as she becomes a mum because I can tell you now there is nothing it's the greatest job in the world don't get me wrong having children but boy does it open up 10 ton more emotions <laughs> I love this this is probably one of my most favorite areas there's two in this game that I think that they've done a really good job with the map um, this is one, so obviously the core memories where they dump them in the pool. Um, absolutely love this area and this is where we find Envy. I did think Anxiety would have been down here. Um, I was quite surprised at the character placement. I do love that core memory, um, I don't know what you'd call it, like the, the the flowery thing in the middle that is well done I do like that I'm assuming this is supposed to represent San Francisco I'm not sure um, maybe an imitation of Riley's room may have been a good addition so maybe something for an update but this is kind of staggered so I think it would have had to have been in this area This feels like it should be San Francisco, but it just doesn't quite feel the same as how they kind of put it in the film. See, like nothing is sort of really challenging. The obbies are really simple. And we find Lance, the retro video game. <laughs> That's absolutely useless. All it can do is roll. <laughs> There are such lovely little elements to this film. I really did enjoy it. Of 
course we find one of the main characters, Riley. Oh, and I absolutely loved the deep dark secret in the vault. If you watch, I won't ruin it, but obviously you do have to watch to the end of the film and the deep dark secret is revealed after the credits. Are you ready to come out yet? No. Oh, I love it. I think sometimes when you re-watch children's, um, watch or re-watch, I should say, children's uh, films as an adult, you can sometimes pick up on different little things like uh, nuances to what they're saying, sort of like play on words. I think it's really nice to watch as an adult and get a different perspective. Again, we find Bluffy, which is uh, another character that was inside the vault. I can't remember what they call the little bag now, but we call them bum bags. <laughs> There is another word for him, uh, which is obviously not going to say, it begins with an F uh, and obviously has pack. <laughs> I don't think they're going to use that word in the film either. <laughs> I don't get the reference with fishing. That I don't get. I think maybe the hawk, uh, kind of the red hawk thing would have been better there. And then this area has to be kind of my second favourite. This was such a lovely um, area in the uh, actual film itself and it's so nice that they've replicated it and they've done such a wonderful job. It would have been even better if they would have had sort of like maybe the screen with the actual images or ideas popping up and the little um, workers scribbling away at their desks. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I do absolutely love this area. This is so well made and it's so immersive uh, compared to the film. So well done on this section as well. So this area is literally just finding the memories. I mean, they stick out like a sore thumb. Most of the characters do. As I said, it's not a hard game. The only memory that I don't get, I don't know if they've done it to kind of complete the set to make it 10, is the rainbow memory. Um, I don't remember that coming up. I know they had mixed memories um, in Inside Out, but I don't remember a rainbow one where it was all of the emotions. Unless I missed it. <laughs> One thing I will say, if you do come on a game um, and obviously try and talk to me, please don't be offended if I don't always chat straight away. I get quite engrossed in um, sort of playing games and I don't always check the chat. <laughs> and if you do want to talk to me, just make sure you put my name in. Otherwise, if you just press hi, I won't actually reference that that's to me. <laughs> So again, I do like where they've gone with this. So this is obviously where they were in sort of the long-term memory and they were trying to get back and they were having the river of food. So I love the link um, and also I love the kind of um, the forklift truck as well. Again, you're just mi missing those workers. This would have been a great place to put some of the working characters. I don't know what you call them. They look like little jelly beans, don't they? That's what I always think they look like. <laughs> The ones who clear out the long-term memory.
So for this, it's nice because I've actually closed off the obby, so you do have to um, enter in through the uh, where the broccoli is, and then make your way down. Again, this is really nicely done. And we get the cheeseburger. I think perhaps if they may have done sort of inside out but did both films I don't know how many more characters really you could add in unless you did sort of like differences like I don't know Riley angry Riley anxious um I just it's limited isn't it because there's only limited characters in the film I suppose if you had Inside Out included as well, you could then bring in sort of the rocket, the, I can't remember what the elephant's called. You could bring in the islands as a map area. But there we go, we have found all 40 characters. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you real soon in my next video. Bye!